Alright, let's go see how angry Pa is with me for sleeping in late. Discovered the grindstone. What's the matter with you, Hale? Didn't you hear me calling you? Persuasion. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of, of, of impression you want to make on them. Let's see, the mouth, you can simply use speech, which however is influenced by the reputation you have at that moment with the person you're talking to. Uh, was that the heart with the crown? In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount. So the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are together with your reputation can make a big difference to how people will respond to you. Uh, swords. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and, det and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment. But other things are also taken into account, such as blood stains on your clothes. Uh, coins. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. You just have to agree on a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping. What is that, a horse? Yeah, it looks like a circle with a horse and somebody on it. Yeah, in special cases, you can try any of Henry's other skills. Example, horsemanship. It's not only the manner of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer. Because sometimes it's not enough to just to choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what Henry is going to say. But the different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily, and no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value, but compared with the abilities of his counterpart. You can see the values of the various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterpart's abilities are visible to you if it's someone you know well, or if you're skilled at reading people. So you have to learn to perk empathetic to be able to read people. Uh, it's not just about stats though. The outcome is influenced by other factors. Example, your reputation. Whether you're dirty or bleeding. If you can't outdo the nimble tongue of a merchant, for example, you may want to poison him a little first and then he'll be easier to persuade. Or if you lead a guard away from his friends, he'll be easier to scare. Wow, you can po poison a merchant? I guess if you poison him, he's not feeling well, so it's easier to, to persuade. And the guard makes more sense. You know, with his buddies, he's, he, feels more, uh, he feels safe and more secure, so it's harder to intimidate. Let's see, so... When you're do doing a persuasion moment, a bunch of things pop up. There's your money and the amount you have to pay. I guess that's if you want to bribe them. Uh, okay, so down there is your total speech skill, which is the mouth, your charisma skill level, which is the heart, and your total strength level, the swords. And then it will show, yeah, Henry, and then underneath whoever you're talking to. And then the level of your reputation with the counterpart. Okay. I had to do something. Sorry, I wanted to have a look around. I won't be ordered around. I don't really think you should talk to your dad like that. It's just... Yeah, I just... Sorry, I had to go and deal with something. Well, it's no great tragedy. Oh, cool. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. 
If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. <laughs> He'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassard. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right. Well, make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. Okay. Game saved. Sweet. Most of the quests can be completed in different ways. Eloquence will help you win friends. An inconspicuous person can totally avoid trouble, and if you'd rather not beat around the bush, violence can also be a solution. Alright. So let's go find this Kanesh. You can find all information about the quests in the log, and for clarity, they are also indicated on the map as well as on the compass at the top of the screen. strange times. Strange and ill omen. But since I serve our liege lord, Sir Ratzik, I think you know the answer. True! But where will Sir Ratzik take the silver? Hardly to Gutenberg, now its citizens bend their knees to Sigurd. Unfortunately, that's not my problem. Perhaps Sir Ratzik is keeping it at the castle until this whole unhappy story reaches its end. I only hope Sigismund doesn't get an appetite for our silver too. That makes two of us. But back to business. I'll need three wagon loads. I see your people are working hard. You'll have it tomorrow. Shall we go and drink to the deal? With pleasure, good man. That's cool. You can sit there and, uh... I mean, I guess that's typical in, in games. I mean, even in Bethesda's games were doing it. So this is the charcoal guy. Wait, is it them or is it him? Oh, it's his helper. Okay. So, one of them is the actual charcoal guy, but his the helper. I can talk to him. But I don't have any coin yet, so... Oh, well. Can I do anything with it? Ew, that's some nasty-looking water. I can't do anything with it. Doesn't At least that's the way it looks. Oh, I was trying to sprint, and then... If you want to sneak somewhere, make sure no one sees or you hears you. Whether you're seen or not depends on the light, your position, and your clothing. Whether they hear you depends on the surface you're moving on, your posture, and your attire, especially footwear. Okay. Is this Kanesh? God be with you, Kanesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Jesus. You can expect a visit from father, so you can walk away and tell your dad. 
You can try your speech craft, which mine's low. I don't think it's going to work. Or you can fight them. Let's try the speech craft anyways. Look, I know things aren't easy. A wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore. Wow. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. <laughs> Just gonna straight and salt them? <laughs> Alright, combat. Uh, R2, slash, strong, slower, strike with weapon. Hook, strong, slower, hand strike to the head. So how do you select which one? Stab, faster, weaker, weapon strike, jab, direct hand blow to the face. Uh, kick, kicks an opponent away. R3, lock one opponent, switch to the next opponent. Circles unlock. L1 block. Raises and holds weapons in defense. Choose attacking direction using the right stick. Can't attack from a grayed out direction. So if I see the area is grayed out, I don't want to attack from there. Either, or I can't for some reason. Maybe it's because it's blocking that way. I don't know. Stamina. If an opponent's strike hits your armor or, your, or you block it, it will cost you stamina. When your stamina is completely depleted, you won't be able to defend yourself and will be wounded. Attacking will also deplete your stamina, especially when wielding a heavy weapon. Health. If you cover, cover yourself badly and your armor is weak, strikes will wound you. Heavy wounds will lead to bleeding, and bleeding will lead to death. The more your health is depleted, the lower your maximum stan stamina. Okay, so your stamina is tied in with your health. The lower your health, the less stamina you have. Alright, uh, your wounds, icons that notify where you're wounded and if you're bleeding. Okay, so like on there it shows his, I'm guessing that's his foot and it's bleeding. So I'm guessing that would mean he's less nimble or maybe he moves slower. I don't know. Uh, opponent. This indicator shows roughly how much health your opponent has left. The more wounded he is, the slower he'll attack and react. When the end is near, he may either try to flee or surrender. Okay. So, the important thing to, the most important thing is to remember blocking and to remember the gray out area. You don't, don't attack, you either can't or you shouldn't attack from the grayed out area. And then use R3 to select where you're going to attack from. Okay. Oh, that was sudden. The whole thing looks great out, though. This one <laughs> okay. Damn. <laughs> Son of a... He's kicking my ass. Ah, oh, man. The blocking is really slow. I saw the kick coming and I blocked, but he just... Did I block them? Damn, how's he? Oh, that was dumb. I saw that coming. He is kicking my ass. Son of a... Ah, bad timing. Come on. Sod it. 
So as he was moving, I saw some of the areas light up. I am not doing much to him. There we go. That, that attack took a minute to wind up and actually do. So combos aren't easy. Ah, oh, shit. Man. What the hell? He's not attacking. Not a good move. Main level, so I leveled just leveled up. Miss. He is ah. That was a pretty good, good combo until he. So like right now I'm kind of like just smashing the button, trying to get combos in. Did you call for a guard? He is incredibly... Alright, so let's... He always blocks low. If you go low or something... A new level in Warfare. Yeah, that's what I said, man. This is just... Oh, come on, damn it. Still has so much health to go. Man, this is a uh Come on. What the hell? He just stops blocking. Strength leveled up. Yeah, but Alright, so using the kick is not very effective because every time I kick, it takes a while before I can do anything else. Just lay into him. A new level in unarmed. There we go. Just, I guess I was being. I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? You can always see your health in the red bar in the lower edge of the screen. The level of health also determines the maximum level of stamina. We already know all that. Heals himself with the aid of food and sleep. For more acute cases, healing potions can be used. Okay. So. Can't delay. I was wondering if there. I'm wondering if there's a. Uh, There's a way to go to like third person view. Now, sorry, I already know what to do with this part. Uh, so I was going through without thinking. But yeah, the, you need the axe, hammer, and nails. The axe was right there on the stump. The hammer and nails are in here. 
somewhere. I, know I mean, remember they're inside his house. I can't remember where. Eat from pot. I wonder. You've eaten too much. You won't get hungry for a much longer time now. But you'll be heavy handed and clumsy until you digest everything. Oh, so you can overeat. He has a little pig. <laughs> but it didn't heal me at all. I thought it said using food would heal me. Is it only certain food? Yep, the hammer and nails. Okay. Collect the depth from Kanesh. So I didn't collect the depth, but I... What's with the flies? Ah, that's what's up with the flies. Discover trader. I guess these guys over here. Grocer. There's one more. Taylor. Blacksmith. Wait, so there's two blacksmiths in this town? Discovered another trader. So I'm guessing that's the grocer. A tavern. Where's the tavern? Thistle, is this another grocer? No, uh, that's a trader. This is the tailor. Or is this the tailor? All their items look the same. And they're all just trader. Alright. So then... Where is... Buy a bag of charcoal. Buy ale. Can't do that. I don't have gold yet. So then what was... Can I zoom? Nope. Nope. Alright. One is A. One's B. Okay. Go to the sword fighting lesson. All right. Now I wonder if uh Oh wow. Yeah, look at me, look at my character. I'm all my clothes are all scruffed up. There's blood on them. Oh wow. A main level. So Okay, yeah. So now I can get some of these. All right. So let's see. Let's So what are these skills? You last 30% longer without food, but as soon as you get hungry, the effects will be 20% worse. Okay. When dirty, you'll have 50% more charisma when talking to women. However, people will smell you a mile off, reducing your stealth skill by 30%. Huh. That's pretty cool. Your stamina will, will regenerate 20% faster at night, slower during the day. Well, I don't want that. Slightly increases the sight distance of fast travel and also the chances of, of evading by 10%. I don't know what any of that means. The sight distance of fast travel. So you can fast travel in the game, but it can be interrupted if you're attacked by bandits or something. Or maybe a wild animal. So I guess increasing your scout means you have a higher chance of seeing things and avoiding them while you fast travel? Huh. You grew up in impoverished conditions, so comfort of beds is inverted for you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep, and vice versa. Huh. Now, I don't know about that, because, I mean, if 
I don't have a bed, if I don't have a, a crappy bed nearby, that means I have to sleep in. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I, I just, I'm not sure about that. I guess. See, without knowing too much about food and coin, because I don't know if I'm gonna, when I'm going to have a steady supply of health uh, or, or of food. I don't know how much food costs. I don't know how much coin I'm going to end up getting. So I think I'll, I, don't, I don't want that one yet. Because I, I mean, I don't know how abundant and how easy it is to get food. So with it being 20% worse, it could easily be I end up starving. Now this one I'm, I'm interested in, the manly odor, 50% more charisma when talking to women, however you'll be smelling a mile off, reducing your stealth skill by 30%. I don't plan on doing a lot of sneaking with this build, considering I, I'm focusing on strength until I get a better grasp of the game. Maybe later on I'll, I'll do a stealth skill or build. Uh, I know I don't want the Knight Rider, I guess I'll just stick with the Scout 1. Because maybe, I don't know if that evading only applies to, like I was saying, like you can see something coming so you have a better chance of avoiding it. Or is that an evading skill you can use while in combat? I don't know. I'll just go ahead and yeah, stick with that. You really want to learn this perk? Yep. Alright, so wow, I'm level 2 and I'm already, what, about halfway to the next one? Almost, yeah. So let's, yeah, my strength went up, but I can't level up again until, yeah, level four, yeah, four, six. I wonder, how do you level, level up your vitality? Vitality determines how much your character can endure, the more vitality, the more stamina, and the faster re re it regenerates. Oh, okay. The longer the character lasts without getting tired, and the longer he can run. Running, surmounting obstacles, and surviving combat enhance vitality. Oh, okay, so sprinting, jumping, like I know you can jump over, over fences and stuff. And then surviving a fight all increase your vitality. So, do fist fights not count, or was my, no, my vitality was at two. So, I guess fist fights don't count. You get vitality perk points every third level, and then at level 20. So, I wonder if there's a, le if there's a level cap in this game. All right. Okay, so I can't do anything else. Not until... Wow, my ag agility went up. How... So what did I do that increased my agility? You have to measure speed, movement, and nimbleness. An agile character not only moves faster, but is also better at evading strikes, can skillfully wield more sophisticated weapons such as sabers, and is more skilled at archery. Archery, in turn, will also increase agility. You get agility perks at every fourth level up. So I guess using just agility weapons, evading strikes. Like, there was a couple times during the fight when I blocked some, some attacks. And when he straight up missed because I was strafing him and moving around, so I wonder if that helped. Now, I almost kind of, there, there's different ways you can go about doing this. Like, uh, if your charisma is high enough, I guess you can actually talk him into giving you the stuff back. I don't know. You can do what I did, which is get, get into a fist fight with him. I know another option, which is really cool, is, uh, you can try and steal the stuff back. And 
if you fail at, if you get caught trying to steal and you get caught, you get thrown in jail. And that's got a really cool outcome. Uh, oh, I walked right past him, not even paying attention. Hey, but that one has a really cool outcome if you do that. Man, it takes forever for your food to go back down. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? Kunish didn't want to pay, so I got no money for those things you sold him. But I took them in lieu of a debt. Took, meaning he gave them to you, or took, meaning stole? If he didn't pay, then they're still ours. How can you steal something that's yours? Fair point. Give it to me, then, and here's some money for the rest. Parted with his axe, the hammer, and the nails. So wait a minute. Got seven groschen. And I didn't save. So... He had coin already. He didn't need the coin. He could have gave me coin in the first place and avoided all that. Wash yourself as much as you can in the trough. Yeah, I did that because after the fight, I'm assuming I'm all bloody. I wonder if, uh... Come on. Oop, wrong button. Yeah, I had some blood on my shirt. It's gone. Uh... Clothes are all trashed up, though. My health is still down. Ah, some sheep. That's cool looking, just the distant hills. Oh. Yeah, you're not supposed to be looking out that far. <laughs> Them floating trees. <laughs> Alright, so I'm already coming out across the first problem of having... Of not being able to save whenever I want. Uh, here, let's see if maybe doing this will happen. Because I have to go. Yeah, because I have to go. And it, says it hasn't saved since I started doing all this. I think I needed uh, 10 charcoal. So the selling system works similar to Fallout 4. You have the buy, you have your inventory, you have, or, I'm sorry, you have their, the, the trader's inventory, your inventory, then the basket. Uh, the basket shows what you're selling and buying, everything combined. Now, in Fallout 4, you couldn't view everything, but it was kind of like you just, you guys traded things back and forth, but you didn't actually keep them and confirm it until it, everything was done. So the basket works the same way. It just lets you see exactly what you're selling and buying. Uh, but buy, charcoal, I need 10? Yeah, accept. All right, so I added it to my basket. Yeah, there's 10. Okay, so for once it's in the basket, you can remove it, close the deal, or haggle. Item info. How much is it gonna cost? To buy 10 of them. Is it gonna cost 0.5 to buy 10 of them? Your wealth, 7 groschen. Trader's wealth, 20 groschen. Re reputation, 94. Trading items for 5 of 0, you pay 5 groschen. Okay. Okay, the zero is him. Okay, so so it's 5 groschen. Yeah, so if each one... Yeah, e that point five is how much one of those is worth. Okay, so yeah, 5. So you can close the deal, haggle... 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 <laughs> haggle in item info. Let's try haggling. I'd like to discuss the price. I uh, haggling works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. You select the amount you want to pay with or get 
with up and down on the D-pad and confirm with X. The trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is a refusal, he or she will make a counter offer and wait for your response. So there's your total money at the top of the bar, the original purchase price, the trader's last offer, and your current offer, and your last offer. Okay. If the, sl if the sliders can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means either you or the trader does not have enough money. Okay, so once you automatically hit your max, it's not, it'll stop. It's not going to let you try and bribe or haggle for more or less than what you have. Or not, you can't, yeah. <laughs> uh, dragging out the haggling will, with one offer after another will gradually try the trader's patience and eventually they'll drop the haggling completely. So I guess once they drop it, you have to, you have to pay the, the original price. No questions. Uh, you can see how close you're getting to that point from the trader icon below the bar. The more gold there is in the background, the closer the trader is to dropping the haggling. Every unsuccessful bout of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. Alright. So it's five. Oh, you, you can have a tenth of a groschen. Man, four. Let's try... Is this enough? You won't convince me with that. Oh wow, his thing jumped up, so he very well could decline my next offer. Because that was more than half of it. Let's try this. Aye, that would do it. Cool. So it was five. I saved half of a groschen. <laughs> that was hit. So what's next? Oh, is this the tavern area? Yep, this is the tavern. So there was two taverns, because it said I discovered tavern, and now it just said I, I discovered this tavern. Or is it the same one? I just had to get closer. All right. Are you serious? Hey, Pip. Do you want to learn something? No, I don't think so. Thanks. Oh, this is the guy that teaches you sword fighting. Okay. 